one of those. It's amazing how some of the pastors and ministers are wavering and compromising, and, and they know God. And God has got the, us as ministers and pastors and preachers in a place that we know God, we've experienced God, and we're to stand up because when the enemy comes in, we have to stand up to show the people that God can do it. Amen. Amen. And God is amazing God. And God Amen. will never let us down, church, Amen. because I'm here to tell you the Bible says when the enemy comes, he comes in like a flood. Amen. And church, we've got to be prepared. Amen. We've got to be ready. Amen. We've got to be fed up. We've got to be prayed up. And ready, amen, to fight. Can you hear it? Amen. So Hezekiah was ready to, to go to battle, and he had to stand firm, amen, for his people. And, uh, as, and I believe God chose him for that very purpose that, that we could that he could glorify God and God could be glorified. Yeah. And I believe we're the same today. Yeah. Now the Bible tells us in, in, in 2 Chronicles chapter 32, beginning at verse 13. Now the king of Assyria came against Hezekiah and come against Israel. Now the Bible says, Know ye not what I have what I and my fathers have done to all the people of the other lands, for the gods of all nations of those lands, anyways able to deliver their lands out of my hand. What he was saying there is, that me and my father have come against a lot of the kings and a lot of the lands, and yet they couldn't, their gods could not stand against me, amen. But I'm here to tell you something tonight, church. He meant the wrong God that day. Amen. Because I'm here to tell you, look in the second Chronicles, chapter 32, beginning at verse 13. Okay? Second Chronicles, chapter 32, verse 13. So he, he said, I, oh, me and my father, and they have come against all the gods of the land, and they could not stand against me and my father. That's what he said there in verse 14. Who was there among all the gods of, of those nations that, that my father utterly destroyed that could deliver his people out of my hand that your God, that he was mocking. I tell you, church, it doesn't do anybody any good to mock God. Amen. Here the king was, he was mocking God. He said, in other words, uh, uh, who, who is your God? Is your God going to be able to stand against my gods and stand against me? You know what I said? What a good church. He was against the wrong God this time. Amen. Amen. I'm here to tell you, church, I thank God we got a God that can do it. Amen. Yeah. We got a God that when the enemy comes in like a flood, if we will stand firm and we believe in God, I believe God will always make a way. Amen. But church, we need Amen. some preachers. And we need some pastors, and we need some ministers that will stand up, and when they have experience with Amen. God, and when they went through things, the head of God was chosen, and God has shown him so many times who God, who his God was, yep. and therefore he could stand firm against the army that was yeah. twice as big as he was. You know what he told him? He told that the children of Israel, he said, I want you to stand firm. I don't want you to make a word, because let me tell you something. He said, my God, and, and he had and his army is more than their army yeah. because yeah. they're serving the God of the flesh, but we're serving the God of God. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you tonight, church, I'm going to preach on the man that is why. Now, church, reason why Hezekiah knew amen, that he could stand against the, uh, the king of Assyria and against their gods because he knew, amen, his God, and he knew their God. See, church, we got to realize something. We've got to know God. It's mine and, and our God. Amen. To let the people know who we serve amen. and who yeah. our God amen. is. Amen. And we say, well, my God can do it. He can do it. Amen. 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 And when we're going through trials, and like the sister said, what a God that she sung. Amen. He's not only God of the valley, he's God of the mountain. Amen. He's not only God of the daytime, and he's God of the nighttime. Amen. God is God, and he always will be God. Amen. But it's our job to stand up when the enemy comes and let them know the God that they serve. I'm about to get happy now, church. Let me tell you something. It's time that we begin to stand up and tell the people, amen, in the congregation what kind of God that we serve. He's not some dead God, but he's alive and he's around and he's got the keys 
that he give us the keys to the kingdom and church we can stand firm to all give them all yeah. he can stand firm to God but he was a walking verse 14 says another part God, should, should God be able to deliver you out of my hand now therefore let not Hezekiah deceive you nor persuade you on this manner neither yet believe in him for no God of any nation or kingdom was able to deliver his people out of thy hand and out of the hand of my fathers. How much less shall your God mock at him again? Church, let me tell you something. God was going to get revenge, but Nezekiah had to stand firm, and he had to get the people to stand firm. And church, let me tell you something. He showed them who God really was. Amen. Can I hear an amen? Who can deliver you out of, out of my hand? That's not to say a while ago, church. We we are a people. Now we got we got pastor today. They minister today and pastors today. They they have no experience of God whatsoever. Right. And church, let me tell you something. I believe when God saved us as, as ministers and raised us up and taught us the gospel and taught us they've been the move of God and now that praise God He called us into a a, 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 a gift and a calling that we we can't waver and we can't compromise because just because the crowd is falling off or, or just because the crowd don't, don't agree with you. It doesn't mean that you have to compromise with them. Can I hear that? Amen. Because you know Amen. what it means to stand firm with God. Amen. Because God has given you experiences he, that we can lead the other people, show Amen. the other people. Amen. Like Hezekiah, he showed the people, Amen. you just stand firm, keep your mouth shut, and keep your eyes up on me, and keep your eyes up on God, because God is going to fight the battle for you, because he's greater praise God. Amen. But see, he knew their God. Yeah, he knew their God. He'd been taught. See, we, we, we don't serve a God that, that, uh, that, that we serve a God tonight. He has hands. Yeah. I said he has hands. He has a kind of new that your God had hands, but they couldn't reach out. Amen. Hezekiah knew that they served gods, amen, that had feet, amen, but couldn't walk with them, amen, in the time of the trials, in the time of the valleys. He knew that they, he was a god, that they had gods that had a mouth, but couldn't speak and direct him. But let me tell you something, Hezekiah and the people of Hezekiah, they had a god that could talk, they had a god that could see, they had a god that could hear, they had a god that could walk with them, and he knew the difference between their god and his god, and he was standing firm and teaching the people the battle is ours because there's more of us than they are of him. They're serving a dead God and we're serving a living God. He's come down from heaven. He made the heavens. He he made the earth glory to God and he made all the all the other old dead gods because everything God made, man made them from them. I'll give them a little hand. I'm not going to be happy now. Glory to God. What are you trying to say, Brother Mayer? Psalms 150 verse 2 says, Wherefore should we wherefore should the healer say, Where is thou other God? Amen. I know where my God is. One thing he said to the right, I, I don't understand this. He said on the throne of God. God said on the throne. And he made it up. Amen. To, 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 to have the whole world. But he's fallen up to live by your heart. That's right. Amen. So he's a big God. Where is the God? He's in us, glory Amen. to God. Amen. And what the Bible says, where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Their idols are silver. Now listen to this. God made the silver, and God made the work. Yeah. Well, no. Amen. Amen. And said so the work of man's hand, they have mouths, but they speak not. Yeah. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. They have feet, have they, but they walk neither, uh, neither speak they to their throat. They that make them are like unto them. They're dead, they're useless, and everyone that trusts them is the same way. Thank God, church has a kind. Amen. Stood there and let the old king rage on and mock God. Let me tell you something. He knew the God that he served. Yeah. He was teaching the people. Church, we as pastors and ministers, it's time that we stand up and proclaim the gospel yeah. and yeah. proclaim yeah. the power of God yeah. and walk in his power, yeah. walk in his glory, and be an example for the cross.
congregation and for the people around us and it's time to quit compromising just because you don't have a father or compromise because some that may not like you or some may even leave the church but it's time to stand up and say that's it the Lord my God is real my God is real and there's nothing my God can't do Amen. all glory to God so I'm filled this tonight all glory to God See, what, that is why we can know that God is still going to deliver out of darkness. Yes, amen. Amen. He's got the power to deliver us. God hasn't changed. I have to say, well, God, is, God never changes. He's the same today, yeah. and He'll be the same tomorrow. Amen. And only one God can change us out of, out of darkness into light, right. and that is Jesus. Amen. Yeah. And see, that's why He can change us through Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. And look in the Glossus 1, chapter 13, uh, verse 13. Who hath delivered from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in yeah. whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. See, he's the only one that can deliver us out of darkness. Yeah. Amen. See, one time we walked in darkness. One time we walked in the kingdom and power of darkness and we had, we had no power. He had ruled over us. We were blind and had no light. But thank God somebody came knocking on the door and that was Jesus. And when we let him in, amen, he opened up our eyes and brought light to us and we recognized, glory to God, that his blood cleansed us and made us, glory to God, to walk in the image and the likeness of him and we could see the light, glory to God, yeah. that we can walk the way he wants us to walk. I said we can see the light and he, we can walk the way he wants us to walk because he took us out of darkness. He took us out of power and thank God we've never been the same chest. Yeah. 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 Oh, he took us out of darkness. See, one time we walked in darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yes. And he's the only one. That's why, that's why we have a God we serve. Yes. Because see, he's the only one that only bring us out of darkness, but he's the only one that can change our life. Yeah. Amen. Let me tell you something, church. When I was out in sin, and probably you was too, uh, I, I, I had to think that I had to, see, I, I thought I had to make myself worthy to be saved. Amen. How many you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. You can't do you it. Can't do it. No, Jesus, Jesus even told the disciples, yeah. I can do nothing without, without God. Yeah. Amen. But once I fell down, that I couldn't change unless I had Jesus because it's Jesus that changed us yeah. amen, by the goodness and the mercy of God. And that's, that's where justice, amen, meant mercy. And that means the blood of Jesus Christ cleaned us and saved us yeah. and changed us. And let me tell you something, church. There is too many, but they don't even have an altar anymore. But right. let me tell you, we need to get back to the altar. Yeah. Yeah. I said we need to get the churches back where they got an altar yeah. where they can pray and where they can really see yeah. God and change not just say, well, if, you're, if you hurt me, if you want to be saved, raise your hands. Or, or say, Jesus, I love you, forgive me, just raise your hand. I'm going to tell you, we got to have some sorrow. Repentance comes with sorrow. Salvation comes with sorrow. I'm going to tell you, you'll never change. When people come up out of the altar, amen, and they, they, they haven't changed, I'm going to tell you, they haven't got saved. And church, we need to tell them that because we got people today who are just doing the same thing they do when they come up off the altar and they need to be told and we need to not compromise with them and let them know they need to get right with God. Amen. Oh, I never want to have that church. The Bible says that if you don't have Christ in you, Christ will not dwell in an unclean temple. Amen. The Bible says therefore if you might be in Christ, he's a new creature. All Amen. things have passed away and behold all things have become new. Amen. Amen. First, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. So, you know what? The church people need to read that. I've seen movie stars and all these other things. Well, I've got Jesus Christ. Amen. I've been saved. I've been born again. Drink like a fish. Cuss like a silver. 
Amen. Go out of the wise and everything else. But I'm saying, no, you're not saved. You didn't come back to the altar and get to the, to the good dose of salvation. Can I hear that? Man? Because you haven't changed. That's why God can change us. But we need preachers and we need people like Hezekiah that had knew God, experienced God, and was willing to stand up. And thank God we still got preachers, we still got pastors, and we still got evangelists, and we still got uh, teachers that are willing to stand up and be an example. Amen. That's why Paul says, he said, I want you to be followers of me, even if I'm also in Christ. We need some people that know Christ, experience Christ, and have Christ. I see it there that they, people can follow them. Yeah. Oh, give a little hand clap, child. Yeah. I'm trying to watch that here, sir. See, we got a God can do anything. Yeah. See, we got a God. See, a lot of people got, got God that, uh, I can say they have hands, but they can't, can't reach out. They have feet, they can't walk with you. You got a God that can't talk to you, amen. And they, 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 they can't move. Can you imagine? Well, I gotta go downtown. Come on, God. Come with me, God. Amen. I don't want a God like that. I want a God to walk with me. Amen. 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 He can talk to me. Amen. 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 I want a God that can supply my needs. Amen. 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 Because church, we, we are needy people. But David said, I'm a needy person. And church, we have needs every day. Amen. See, I need, amen, Jesus every morning. Yeah. I've got to make sure I've got a relationship with him. And I thank God I know that when I need him, he is there. Amen. Not just to supply my wants, amen, my desires, but he's there to help me, amen. amen. When I'm in deep, when, when the enemy comes in like a flood, he's there to help me. Amen. When I need mercy, he, he's there to help me. Amen. And when I'm in the valley, can't to look up the sea bottom, he's there to help me, to lift me up in the Help me. And when I'm going through a storm, he's there, amen, to help me. Why? Because he has supplied every need. And I thank God tonight, you have a God and I have a God. Amen. When things are when the enemy's coming like a flood, as a cow had a had an enemy that was coming like a flood and there was more of them in, in the flesh but thank God he knew some, like he told the people he said we've got a God and he's we got a, he's got an army it's more than them and they're, they're, they're people of the flesh and their God is a flesh but we got a God is a king of kings and the Lord of lords Amen. and praise God he's Amen. going to win the battle I'll oh, give him a little hand clap he will swallow our knees as long as we walk into Christ Jesus we are needy. We are needy people. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 and 20. It says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Now to, and now to God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Thank God for his mercy and good. He gave us Jesus Amen. and we walk in him and abide in him, church, and believe in him. He's there to be Amen. every need. I thank God, church, he's there yeah. to meet your need and yeah. be yeah. Yeah. Not just I'm not talking about fears physically and spiritually and financially. He's there to meet that yeah. need if we're abiding him and walking him because the Bible says that those that walk up right with him, he, he will not withhold any good thing. I thank God we got a God tonight that won't withhold any good thing from his people. And that's why I can praise him tonight. That's why I can lift him up tonight. And that's why I can tell you tonight, you just hang on if you go through a battle night. You just hang on because Amen. God is bigger than that valley. He's bigger than that valley. And he's bigger than the mountain. He's bigger than anything that you're facing tonight. You just got to believe in him because he will never let you down. He'll never let me down. I'm an old man right now. But I have never seen the people, God's people forsaken. Amen. 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 That's why I serve him tonight. That's why God is who he is. Because he's not a dead God. Yeah. He's a God that's alive. Amen. He's a calm. I was going to jump here. He's got to stop me. He, that's why he can turn our morning into next. Amen. I love that part. Well, there's times where we're, 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 I mean, we're heartbroken. Yeah, he comes to heal a broken heart. Yeah, amen. amen. When we're broken hearted, he's here to, amen, to heal us. Right. There's times, church, like Brother James says up a while ago, there's times that we don't feel God. And we feel like we're backslid. And it doesn't mean you're backslid because you don't feel God. Are you disappointed? I'm saying? Job was a man that loved God. 
I mean, not he was. I mean, I really believe that Job was the apple of God's eye. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he bragged. He bragged to the devil about Job. So there was a time when he went through that time of, of mourning and everything. He said, I, I, I looked and I couldn't see God. He, in other words, he couldn't even feel God. He said, I looked to the east and the west and the north, but I couldn't feel him. I couldn't see him. Amen. But you know what he said? Even though I don't feel him, even though I can't see him, I know he's there. Yeah. And we tell you something. He said, I know, amen, that I will come through it. Amen. Yeah. Why? Because we tell you, he said, I will come forth as gold. Glory to God. Because he knew that God was not a dead God, but he was a God that was alive, a God that was well. And church, he knew somehow or other that God was going to yeah. pull him through it. If he had to take him home, he'd take him home. Because what? One thing he said, even though in the last day when I even before I die, he said, I will stand before God in my flesh and I will glorify him. I'm here to tell you, church, God will do anything for his people. And we as ministers of God, amen, as leaders of God, we need to teach the congregation, you stay right with God, you love God, and you serve God, and stay away from sin. There's nothing that God won't do, but we need to be an example of what God wants us to to me. I'll give a word of hand. He'll come. He said, I'll, I'll, I'll turn your morning into gladness and death. What it says, the Psalms, as we look at the Psalms 30, verse 50, verse 30, Psalms 30, verse 11. This is what it says. Psalms 30, verse 11. He said, Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. He's the only one that did that, church. He's the only one that can take your sorrows and turn it into gladness. Amen. And put, but, he said, but, but thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may say praises to thee and not be silent, O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Amen. The, even in a time of mourning, God will let you dance with joy. Yeah. But you got to thank Him even in the bad time. Amen. See, we yeah. want to serve God and thank Him with things that we're good. But like the song says a while ago, He's God in the valley, He's God in the mountain, yeah. He's God in the dark, and He's God in the light. Yeah. And God is God all yeah. over me. Yeah. Psalm 30 verse 5 says, now he didn't say we would we'd be going through some bad time, but he did say that joy would be coming. Yeah. Amen. Psalm 30 verse 5 says, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Oh, we can look for his promises. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's why we as leaders, we, go, we, we are shepherds. And the shepherd always go before his people. So you know why? That's why a lot of people there are not shepherds and everything. And because God had to let them go before the people. And they got to face the wolf. They got to face the devil. They got to face sickness. They got to face trial. They got to face all these things. Well, the congregation could see that, that they're a man of God and that they believe in God. That when they're going through it, they can stand up and say, you know, I was there, but God delivered me and God will deliver me. Amen. Can I hear him amen? Amen. And he will heal Papa, trouble, Lord. Let's stand tonight. 